Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a special report. We're going to be covering the uh, recent signal that was recorded by the TradeSite seeker in the triple Qs in the NQ futures. We're going to talk about uh, the, the merits of the signal and also some of the other technicals that are in place to uh, lead us towards a high probability reversal in these two key indexes. There's really three things at work here that are leading towards this high probability reversal. Number one is volume. We've been moving up uh, on decreasing volume as we're making new highs. The other one is the uh, the DMI, or the, the, the directional movement indicator, or the ADX, is also extremely overbought. This is a momentum indicator, but once it uh, it gets too overbought above the 70 level, it uh, actually indicates that the, uh, the trend may be about to end. And then the third thing that uh, that's in place, and this is probably the most important, is where we are in both time and price. And we measure this using the, our proprietary trade site seeker. So let's take a look at the charts and see what they have to tell us. Let's first take a look at the NQ futures. We'll get to the triple Qs in just a few moments. The NQs have had a very strong advance off of the, off of the recent bottom in, uh, in April. We uh, broke out to a new high and have been advancing fairly steadily uh, and almost uh, uninterrupted with just a little bit of a recharge that took place in the middle of June. And as I had mentioned earlier, while we are advancing and making new highs, this is coming on a, de a decrease in volume. You can see that this is a, a trend that has been in place now for more than a week as we're trying to push out to new highs. So you can see the, the yellow arrow above the, hist the volume histogram on the bottom. You can see that clearly, as price is going up, there's less and less interest to pay these prices. Another key feature in the uh, in the market right now, in the NQs and also the Qs, is the ADX. The ADX is a momentum indicator, and when it is on the rise, that means that there is momentum in a direction. It could be up or down. Obviously, in this case, we're, we're in a strong uptrend, and the ADX now is, is just under the 73 level. When we get an ADX reading above 70, also in conjunction with the trade site seeker exhaustion warning, this provides a high probability reversal point for the market to turn and change direction. Now we're going to add the trade site seeker to the mix. You can see this is a bar counting methodology which measures both time and price. You can see at point A on the chart we concluded a 1 through 9 startup phase. Those are the green numbers above the candles. This is the momentum move to the upside that starts this push. After the 1 through 9 momentum phase is completed we begin the exhaustion phase. The exhaustion phase here is denoted in the red numbers. The red numbers are counting the bars that qualify the two bar look back to satisfy the exhaustion requirement. The exhaustion requirement will be fulfilled if we can if we can complete this methodology for 13 bars. And late this week we just did complete 13 bars to the upside at point D. Now we have uh, our exhaustion warning in place that in combination with the with the low volume on the move up as well as the the ADX above 70 is leading us toward, towards this, uh, what is likely going to be a high probability reversal point. Another key feature on the chart is you'll see a, uh, a magenta horizontal line directly next to the arrow at point B. That represents the stop loss level. So if this level gets exceeded on a closing basis twice, that will nullify this exhaustion warning and then we'll be looking for the run to complete again to the upside. So that can be also a very important level in the market that's kind of kind of not really revealed to a lot of people. This is going to be an important area if the market does need to walk up there and wiggle a little, a little bit and test that, expect that to come into play. That level is 39.50 and a half. So as long as trade stays below 39.50 and a half, we're going to be looking for a return back to the downside here and a change in trend that a lot of people are not actually looking for right now. Here's a look at the Qs. The Qs is just the ETF uh, version of the NQs, follows the same index, the NDX, 
100. We have the same condition here. We've got the uh, the drying up of volume. We've got the overcooked ADX, and we've got our 13 exhaustion warning in place for the uh, from the trade site seeker. The uh, stop loss level, the magenta level, the magenta line on this chart is going to be 96.52. So that's the ultimate uncle level. But I expect that this is going to turn to the downside before that really uh, before that really gets uh, tested too much. So just to summarize what's going on in, in the markets right now, we do have uh, an exhaustion warning in place for the uh, for the NDX 100. We're expecting a, a turn to the downside here because of the low volume, the aggressive reading in the ADX, and of course because of the exhaustion uh, reversal warning in place from the trade site seeker. I didn't talk about it just because of time constraints, but the S&P side of the market does have an exhaustion warning in place as well. So we've got exhaustion warnings in place on both sides of the market, both the S&P and the NDX, which uh, definitely leads credence to the fact that we're looking for the market to turn down here uh, starting next week. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.